Welcome to this Zentangle Quickie. My name is Heather Hartwig Gladden. I'm a certified Zentangle teacher. And today we're going to take a look at the tangle Sea Urchin from Loretta Baraccini. And I wanted to look. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is a fairly recent one that was uh, uh, sent out by uh, Linda Farmer of Tangle patterns.com fame and uh, I was just trying to see how it's like I don't remember necessarily seeing this before but you know what there are so many tangles all right for this one I'm going to do my four corners and a border and if you don't know about the four corners and the border which are two of the eight steps of the Zentangle method Make sure to check out a, uh, a class, either from myself, I need to get my next one posted, it will be in May. I call it Zentangle Essentials, where it's, uh, you learn the essentials of Zentangle. Uh, but, you know, by ACZT, so that way you understand the method. There's so much more to Zentangle than uh, all of the beautiful work that, uh, that we see. There's so much more behind it, and I encourage you to take a look if you haven't. And if you have, you know, a refresher is always a great idea, in my opinion. All right. This one is so cute. And it, and it starts off with, uh, it's kind of a tangulation on the uh, Zentangle, original Tangle print tops. And um, so it starts off with, you know, print tops is basically a spiral. Or it could look like a squashed spring, right? Because uh, print tops is French for spring. The difference with this is that, you know, we're, we're adding to this. So start off with just one. And then um, looking at Loretta's step out, she kind of like, you know, you go around. Let's see, that would be kind of like one and a half ish. Honestly, I don't know what matters, but it is cute being being tiny like this. And then, you know, once you've reached that, then at the very end, that very tip, just a straight line and then continue that. And of course, you can have these lines be whatever length you want. And just go all the way around and kind of stop. Just, you know, so we're not, we're not, we're not doing a second layer or anything. So just stop just about where that uh, first, where, where it ends. That's it. That's all. Okay. Bye. <laughs> but of course, you know, the neat thing with this is we're just going to add more in. Uh, this is a great filler. Uh, I was going to say the difference between this and, and regular print tops, of course, is that with print top, gosh, I'm making these so long, but it's okay. Um, you know, we're generally fitting them together, you know, kind of tightly packing them. And then we, we fill in the, the little gaps and things like that. And it depends on, on, on your take on print tops. But this is, it's like I said, it's a nice filler. You just spread them around however you want them different sizes it, it it just has a really neat look and it's nice to have something a little bit different you know and maybe you're doing a tangle that has what I call watery watery type looking tangles. I don't know if I've, I, th that's my intention on my website is to put tangles in categories like that. Um, because a lot of times they, uh, tangles will reflect a certain look or, you know, you know, either because it's the inspiration or just because of the way it ends up looking. And a lot of them can have different looks just depending. So that's my intention. And at some point uh, I will, <laughs> get more of those categories filled out. Actually, on my YouTube channel here, uh, if you click on uh, my picture or my name, that'll take you to uh, the home page for the YouTube channel. I've done a better job on the YouTube channel of categorizing things that I have on my website, so do use it. I have them, I have them separated into playlists. I think I'm going to leave that like that. I like it. Um, so you can look at all the, the different playlists and um, 
you know, just to get an idea, because it's it's just like I have one called steampunk. Uh, I do have what I believe called watery, and it's just, you know, if it looks like it belongs in the water or is associated with water, I put it in there. So you can take a look at that and, um, you know, and have fun. Because, you know, I've gotten the question an, um, a number of times, you know, about putting tangles together and how do you do that. And really, there, there's no rhyme or reason, and of course, there's no right or wrong, just like Zentangle, period. But sometimes you might want to have a theme. I know that's how my brain works. And that's why I thought, well, I should put things together that way uh, for myself. And who knows who else may want to, you know, to use them. So, um, so there we go. Now, if I was going to shade this, hmm, you know, you know what, let's, let's just try something. Let's go around this outside and just see what that looks like. And I think I'm going to, I'm just going to spread it kind of both ways. Ooh, that's neat. Let's do that. And I, I'm not going on the inside. You could. I was just going to do the whole perimeter. I can still do that. That's why I did the four corners and the border. Because there are ones like this that it's just like, gosh, I just don't know how to shade it. And, of course, you don't have to do shading if you don't want to. But it certainly makes things come to life. Oh, just adds that extra flare. I might go in and do, go all the way to the center because that that kind of looks. That looks neat. I, you know, I'm not. I'm not going to. But that could be another another option. Because if you think of it, oh, oh, and and also take a look at the. Uh, for more insp or the, I've I've renamed it. Uh, for more inspiration from the creator of the I added I added from the creator of the tangle so that way. Uh, some of these things I don't, I, I have kind of preset so I don't have to retype it. Um, and I haven't had anyone say they, you know, they didn't understand the, for more inspiration, because I usually explain it. But I thought, well, it'd probably be good if I, if I reworded it that way so it made sense. But take a look at that link, because it's um, not only, you know, to see the work from the creator of the Tangle's Hand, but... You know, let me see. And I think, I think this is Linda. She puts in extra, extra things. And uh, she was, um, you know, kind of took a little bit of a, a deep dive, forgive the pun, about sea urchins. And I did not know. Uh, and so she took this from uh, Wikipedia. But apparently the name, and, and I love this because my little nephew loves hedgehogs. And so I'm going to have to tell him about this tomorrow when I see him. Um, but there is an old, uh, the, the name urchin is an old word for hedgehog, is what she has written here, um, which sea urchins resemble. And so they have, have archaically been called sea hedgehogs. And I'm like, oh my gosh, that's just, that's just so cool. So as I was searching and I saw this, I'm like, oh, well, I have to do this tangle. And you know what? And while I'm at it, let's, I'm going to do this outside. And I, I've already mentioned the description section and where you'll find those step outs. I always do my own version and then link to the origin, the originator or the creator of the tangle. Uh, below that, you can find ways to connect with me if you would like to. I do classes twice weekly, and uh, most of them are free. Some of them are paid. I also have a membership club, so if uh, if that is something that interests you, I always recommend people come check us out for free because I do have my kind of own brand of of a Zentangle, and uh, we have a lot of fun and a lot of creativity. This just needs to be darker, and um, it's it's just it's it's a great time. We have a lot of great people that join us regularly, uh, and and a lot of them join us for both sessions. So I do two sessions on the two days that I that I do these, and like I said, we'll ha I'll have some that, that you know they come to both if they can. It is a hoot. Uh, so you'll find those on my website, and again, that link is there. Um, and speaking of the, the regulars that come, are, are my fellow Tangle addicts, we have a private Facebook group, so if you happen to be on Facebook and want to join us, the link for that uh, private club page is there, along with my, my page, so if you want to follow me there. Oh, see, look at how neat that looks. Um, yeah, I would love to have you follow me. And with that, um, you, speaking of following, would love to have you be a subscriber to the site. So if you enjoyed this, 
uh, click like, and then also click subscribe if you haven't done so already. Um, and I've done everything out of order, which is good. Uh, it's good for the their neural pathways. So I, I don't know if I've missed anything. Probably not. And, and if I did, uh, listen in tomorrow and you'll hear the rest of the story, as Paul Harvey used to say. All right. So neat tangle. Again, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and with that, I wish you happy tangling.